Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here. I am participating this week in Top 5 Wednesday. This is my first ever Top 5 Wednesday so uh, bear with me, I hope I'm doing it right. Uh, Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey. I love watching other people's uh, Top 5 Wednesdays and this particular one really piqued my interest and this week is non-YA books. So I'm going to take you through my Top 5 current favourites of non-YA books. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is actually one of my favourites that I've read this year, or in fact, probably in the last few years. And that is I Am Malala, which is written by um, Malala Yousafzai. I hope I've got that right. I apologise if I haven't. It is a story about Malala who is a girl who spoke out against the Taliban uh, when they invaded the Swat Valley in Pakistan. She used to be silent on subjects regarding education for all. On Tuesday, October 9th, 2012, Malala was shot at point-blank range in the head. She survived and is currently, I believe, living in the UK and is still speaking out. And it's just an incredibly interesting, powerful book that really gives you a sense of perspective of the type of world that we live in and how lucky we really are that we don't live in places where the type of things that Malala comes up against are, are every day really. So I just really loved this book, it was a great book. There's a really good picture as well on the back, that's Malala with her father. My second pick is The Perfume Collector. And this is by Kathleen Tessero. This book is set in 1955, London and Paris. And it involves a mystery, a secret benefactor, um, perfume, and it's just a wonderful, sprawling story. It really had me engaged. The perfume aspects were just interesting and evocative. And I just loved this book. I flew through it. I think I read it in probably about a day and a half. The third book I want to talk about is... Ghost Written by Isabel Wolfe. The story chops and changes between two people. It's the ghostwriter's own story and the story of the person that she's ghostwriting. The ghostwriter is writing the story of a Dutch woman who was in a Japanese prisoner of war camp in Java in, during World War II. It's a really, really interesting story. At times it's harrowing, it's emotional. At times I just felt disgusted with humanity and the way that people can be and how cruel and evil people can be to each other. So saying that, it was just a really, really good read and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. My fourth pick is one that I read a long time ago but has stayed with me and that is Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. I just love this book. I love everything to do with um, geisha and the cultural side of it. It's set in 1929. It's just a lovely, interesting story and really beautifully written. So I definitely recommend that one to everyone. And then if you've watched one of my previous videos on books that I had read, you will not be surprised to see that my final pick is The Collected Works of A.J. Fickery by Gabrielle Zevin. I just adore this book. It's everything that a book lover like me could possibly want. It has books, a bookshop, love and relationships, children, humour. It's just a real joy to read. It is a uh, down it in one, one session. It's just a brilliant, brilliant book. So if you haven't picked it up, pick this one up. Pick this one up now. Okay, so I think I've made my point. Definitely pick this one up. It's just a really, really good story. And all of these ones that I've picked are really good stories, really easy to get engaged with, really easy to read. Um, even uh, Malala, I Am Malala, which is quite a harrowing non-fiction story, is written in a way that you can really get into it. You don't have to worry about the writing being too heavy or too difficult to understand. They're just really good yarns. That is my top five Wednesday. That's goodbye from me and I shall see you soon. Bye.